Hi everyone, and you are welcome to OOB Basics section. In this lecture, I would like to highlight the section learning objectives. Also, I'll give a brief introduction about what I'm going to cover in this section. But before I start, let me ask you, have you ever tried to learn OOP and you found yourself overwhelmed by tons of jargon like class, object, abstraction, method, attribute, etc, etc. So whether the answer is yes, or this is the first time you are trying to learn OOP, let me tell you that this section will give you the essential foundation that you need to enter OOP world with high confidence. Therefore, by end of this section, you will be able to understand why OOP is very important and why you have to start using OOP in your programs. You will understand what a class is, what an object is, and what is the difference between the classes and objects? You will learn about the different types of attributes and methods and how to enhance your classes with these attributes and methods. Also, you will be able to understand the first two pillars of OOP, which are abstraction and encapsulation. And the most important objective is to make you able to create your own classes and instantiate objects from these classes. And in order to achieve all of these objectives, I'll start this section by a quick introduction to OOP in which we will understand what we have before OOP and why OOP becomes an essential part of your daily life as a programmer. Then I will start to define what classes and what objects are and teach you how to define classes and objects. After that, you will learn how to enhance your classes by different type of attributes and method like instance attributes and instance method, class attributes and class method, static methods and properties. And once we are armed by all of this knowledge, it's time to learn about abstraction and encapsulation with real examples. And before I end this section, I would like to highlight an important concept which is copy in object-oriented programming. And I'll end this section by a section conclusion lecture in which I will summarize everything we will learn in this section. That's all for this lecture. Thank you very much for your time. And if you are available, join me in the next lecture.